So if you sell any kind of high ticket product or service, especially in the B2B realm, and you're not using LinkedIn to generate a significant portion of your leads and new customers and clients, I can tell you you're leaving a lot, a lot, a lot of money on the table. And I don't want that to happen to you. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an over the shoulder tutorial of how we're gonna be using LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator to go out and sell a brand new service offering for my company, uh, growthresponse.io. It's a done for you email marketing ser service for information and e-learning and info product companies. We help them scale their sales with email. And I'm going out to a new market and I'm selling this new service offering. So I want to do kind of kill two birds with one stone here and show you how I'm gonna do that and just give you like an over the shoulder tutorial as I go through the steps here, okay? So this might be a long video, might be not, and maybe 20 minutes or so. And I wanna just show you the different steps that go into how we're gonna go out to this brand new market and sell this service offering using LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So uh, first things first, uh, it starts with your profile, right? If you go out and you try to generate leads with a, with a crap profile, uh, no one's gonna respond and no one's going to wanna talk to you. So the first thing is you wanna optimize your, your LinkedIn profile. And I have a longer video, a previous video on this. Uh, I think it's the second video on my channel. I'll link to it somewhere here. So if you wanna see a more in-depth video on optimizing your profile, you can go back and watch that. I'm gonna cover it briefly right here so you understand. Uh, the first area is your profile photo and your cover photo. So the profile photo is nothing special. We just have a picture of you smiling. It doesn't need to be like a $2,000 headshot, but it should be of you smiling. It should be a clean photo, not all blurry and pixelated. And yeah, just, you should just look presentable, professional, okay? Your cover photo could either be something that leads to a call to action, like to download some kind of report or white paper or what have you, whatever your lead magnet is or it can be something where it shows authority and it shows uh, social proof or testimonials or could be of your company. In my case, I have a picture of me speaking and with some influencers in the e-commerce space here. So this is Jesse Itzler. He's a multi-billionaire owner of the Atlanta Hawks. This is Trey Llewellyn. He is a, a well-known person in the e-commerce space. Uh, so you can choose what kind of cover photo you want. I chose the authority route. But if you have some kind of report or lead magnet that you want people to opt in for, you can direct them to that with your cover photo as well. Okay, so that is the profile photo, your cover photo. Once you have that sorted is uh, your headline, right? You wanna make sure that you, I'm constantly split testing this and seeing what the best uh, headline is. But the main thing is you want to, there, there needs to be a mindset shift, okay? So you need to think of your profile on LinkedIn, especially as more of a landing page designed for your ideal prospects, your ideal customers, and less less like a resume, right? A lot of people even, I, I don't know who Haley is, but I can see she has her, her job title here, but a lot of people treat their profiles like a resume, even if they're not looking for a job, right? So if they're like, they're, they're like business owners, they're talking about themselves in third person, they're talking about their awards, their trophies, all like the weird stuff that they, the accomplishments that they've had, how much money they have, uh, has nothing to do with the, the person viewing their profile. So if you're using your profile on LinkedIn to get customers and grow your business and get clients and make more money, uh, you wanna treat it more like a landing page and less like a, a resume just about you and, and your, your accomplishments, okay? So uh, the headline is where it starts. And you can see here, I'm calling out to my audience. Are you an information or e-learning company looking to get more sales from your email list, right? So this is the niche, this is the market information or e-learning company. And uh, the result, our service is email marketing, done for email marketing, right? So get more sales from your email list. I'm calling out to them and kind of giving them an idea of what we help with. Send a message to ask me how, and they can send, there's gonna be a button that says message Sean on LinkedIn, just to direct message me. Uh, and from there, the headline, I'm constantly testing this again, but the main thing is you wanna call out your audience and give them an idea of how you can help them, right? You wanna really get their attention so that when you're connecting with them, your prospects, uh, they're gonna read your profile and, and be interested in what you do because you're calling out directly to them. Okay, so that's the headline here. The second area is the about section or the profile summary. Now notice something here, okay? It doesn't really talk about me at all. It's all about the, uh, the market. I'm not gonna read this. You guys can go to my profile and read it yourself. But it, it mostly talks about the market and their pain points and problems. And then also from there, I talk about how I can help them solve those problems, right? So you can see here, clients come to me when they have one or all of these problems. And I talk about the problems that my market has, okay? 
And this is from extensive research. It's also from having my own information business. So I know some of these problems myself when I was trying to do email marketing before I really knew how to do it. Um, so I go, you can read this all yourself as well. It, go to my profile again and you can read through this pro, the full profile summary. Uh, but I'm really talking about their problems. I'm diving deep into that. At the end, you know, I talk about who I work with, what I do. At the end, I have a call to action to book a call with me, okay? So uh, you can, mo I, please don't copy and paste my profile, but you can model after what I'm doing here. I'm introducing uh, the problem, like who I work with. I'm calling out the niche. I'm talking about their problems here. And then I talk about how I can help them solve that problem with our service offering, which is done for you email marketing. And at the end, I have a call to action, right? To book a call with me. So it's, it's, it's like a sales letter, a mini sales letter on my profile. Uh, and you want to have that as well if you're trying to use it to, to grow your business, get more clients, get more customers, and uh, use your LinkedIn profile to do that. For, so, so far, we have the profile photo, we have the cover photo, we have the headline here, uh, we have the profile summary. And now what I do is, and this is great if you have some kind of content or you have videos or you have a YouTube channel, you can link to that stuff in the featured section. Okay, you can add some rich media here. So in my case, what I have is I have a, a watch, like I have a video that I have on my website. These all link to my website, by the way, growthresponse.io. There's also some long form blog articles that, uh, let me just show you real quick. Uh, here's my website. If I scroll all the way down here, it's a long form article. Uh, they can click to get a price and fill out a questionnaire to book a time with me. Uh, there's another one here. Let me show you this. This is another long form blog article and at the end, they're able to watch a free training video and from there they can book a call as well, okay? So it's very, it's pretty cool because LinkedIn, um, they, it generates, my profile generates a decent amount of traffic and a lot of those people are, whoever's viewing my profile gets exposed to these links here and they, cl they click on that, it gets them to my website, they read through the blog articles, they book a call and this is how you can get some inbound appointments and inbound clients just from using your or organic LinkedIn profile, okay? So what did we cover so far on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile? We have a cover photo, we have our profile photo. We have our headline here that calls out to our niche and tells them what we help with. We have our profile summary or about section that goes into uh, who, we, who we help, how we help them, and the types of problems that we solve, and then we have a call to action at the end. And I also have some featured blog articles and videos that link to my website. And on the, on the website, it also has call to actions for them to book a call, watch a free training or, or video sales letter as well. Okay, so we're hitting them from all kinds of different angles from our website and our LinkedIn profile. We're also gonna be hitting them on outbound prospecting, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the LinkedIn profile optimization, right? We also have our company down here. I talk about what the com our company does. Again, we have a call to action to send me a LinkedIn message or book a call. Uh, but that's pretty much it, right? We, you can have your skills here as well. The main things is your profile photo, cover photo, headline, profile summary. And if you have any rich media, add that stuff here because you're gonna be generating traffic, inbound traffic to your profile. You wanna direct them to whatever content that you have on your website, right? If, if, if that's what you wanna do, if there's a call to action there, okay? So once you have your profile optimized, and if you follow this video and you follow what I just told you to optimize here, uh, you're gonna be ready for prospecting, right? Reaching out to your market and drumming up appointments and people who are interested in learning more about what you have to offer. Uh, so let me just show you real quick uh, my messaging inbox. If I just go to unread here. Um, I already checked a few people. I'm checking this on a daily basis, like people who respond that they're interested that I move them to a phone call, but you can see Joe here. I just connected with him on LinkedIn a couple week or a week, a week and a half ago or so. And he wants to learn more. He wants to jump on a call. I asked him to start by telling me more about his business and then we're gonna take that to a phone call. Okay, so that's really the goal of LinkedIn, at least in my case, or if you're selling high ticket services and you, need, you are selling by appointment, we're using LinkedIn to drive people to that phone call. Okay, and we have a bunch of different people here who'd love to, right here, Michael says he'd love to have a chat. Uh, and we're, we're, do, we're running these campaigns on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to generate these appointments. Uh, so I'm just gonna go now into Sales Navigator. I'm gonna walk through Sales Navigator with you and how we use it to build lists and target the exact people that we wanna go after 
uh, with our service offering, right? And you might get some ideas on how to use it for your business. So uh, I'm on Sales Navigator. If you don't know what this is, it's a platform to help you target, get deeper into the targeting uh, for leads and uh, let me just show you the filters here instead of talking about it. Uh, there's very in-depth uh, filters that you can use to target leads and accounts and companies as well. So my market is information and e-learning companies, right? Now the beautiful thing about LinkedIn is I can target based off of a number of things. So I'm just gonna walk through how I would do this. Uh, now I live in Seattle, so I'm just gonna start with Seattle here. Uh, you can start with you know, a statewide or countrywide basis. I'm just gonna start with Seattle. And what I also like to do is I like to start with a second degree connection. Now the second degree connection, what this means is you have a mutual connection, meaning you it's a friend of a friend, right? So it's a connection of someone that you're already connected with. If you have a smaller network of five, like less than 500 people, then you'll wanna just go straight to third degree connections. But the reason I go second degree is uh, when you have a mutual friend, what happens? Well, they're more likely to wanna to talk to you and they're more likely to engage with you because there's some kind of mutual or in common connection, right? The same goes when in real life, when you have a friend and they introduce you to another friend, you are more likely to become friends rather than just going and randomly tapping people's shoulders on the street, right? Uh, so that's why we start with second degree connections here. Uh, the, good, the beautiful thing about uh, LinkedIn is there are predetermined industry tags here. So in my case, there is an e-learning tab here, right? I might also do something like internet. Uh, actually, we'll just stick to e-learning for now to keep it simple. Uh, I might do publishing because they publishers are their info product publishers or the info marketers. Those are the people that we're targeting. Uh, but there's so many filters here that you can use, right? So I'm just going to use... I start with the geography, sometimes I'll do keywords. I usually use keywords to do further filtering, which I'll, I'll, I might show you after this. Uh, secondary connections, industry tag. What I also do here is, uh, let's see, you can either use, I, I alternate between these, but you can either use seniority level and you can do like the C-level executives if you're trying to target any of the C-level executives or the owner or the partner or the VP level. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go by the job title here, okay? Uh, so, job title, uh, who am I targeting? Owner, founder, CEO, chief exec. Uh, we might be talking to the CMO too, sometimes, the chief marketing officer. Uh, let's just start here, okay? So, very not too many results because I don't think I have too many second degree connections in the e-learning industry yet. So let's just, let's see what we got going on with third degree. Okay, um, so we have the geography, relationship, industry, uh, seniority level, I'm not using this, but you can use that. The title, you can go by C, whatever titles that you're targeting, you can enter them in here. Uh, now, something else I also like to do, if I really wanna filter off of people who are not just like startups, who already have experience in the industry, what I'll do is, I'll go to, uh, years at current company, and I might just do like three to five, six to 10, uh, more than 10, if I really wanna narrow down like people who have been in business for a while, right? So you can use, you can use these filters, I'm just gonna get rid of them because I'm not, I don't really care about that for now. Uh, company headcount, this is another one. So we're mainly targeting 11 to 200 employees, okay? And you can actually filter based off of whatever headcount you're using. Uh, but this is our sweet spot, 11 to 200. It's actually probably 11 to 50, but I'm just gonna leave this open. Uh, and I'm just gonna click search. Now, uh, I also wanna show you this. Here's another cool thing that we'll do sometimes. Let me just start a new tab here so I don't go overlapping here. If you go to lead filters, you wanna get really targeted. Let's just say that uh, you wanna find, like you, you know your niche, you know the exact people that you're targeting. Uh, a very cool strategy that I don't see many people talking about is using the groups filter here in Sales Navigator. So let's just go to seniority level. I wanna go to CXO or owner or partner. Uh, and I'm gonna go, uh, let's just do USA. Actually, yeah, let's just do this. And let's do, you know what, I'm gonna leave this blank. I'm gonna to go to groups here, and you're gonna use groups to find your list of prospects, okay? So I'm like, just, let's just do e-learning and see what happens. Uh, so e-learning professionals, uh, we got 99 results, e-learning, 
let's just do e-learning. Uh, let's see, e learn. Let's see if we got any info product marketers right here. Okay. So what am I doing here? I am finding very niche specific groups, the people that I'm targeting, and I am trying to build a prospect list of people who are in these groups. Now, why is that so powerful? Well, who's gonna be joining these groups? Who's gonna join an e-learning group or an e-learning professionals group or an information marketing and publishing group? Who's gonna join that? It's not gonna be, I mean, it's only gonna be people who are in the e-learning industry or the information marketing industry. It's not gonna be, be people who are in maybe e-commerce or something that's completely unrelated to these industries, right? So the reason this is so, so powerful is Sales Navigator isn't perfect with just the standard uh, search filtering. But if you are targeting groups like this, uh, you're gonna get a much more intent driven prospect list because only people who are in this industry who are interested in these topics, these very specific topics, are going to join these groups, right? So if I click search here, I can see a list of prospects here, okay? Uh, now, what am I gonna do with these lists of prospects? Well, there's a few different things you can do. One is I might just create a prospect list. So I might just do this, press save, I could create a lead list. I can go, uh, today is the 15th, I think, <laughs> uh, 7.15.20, and I can just call this the e-learning uh, 11 to 50 Seattle list, okay? So I'm gonna create and save this, and what I can do now is I can just save these people to that list, okay? And I can go and individually look at their profiles if I want. If I want to go to Jay's profile here, I might just look at this, make sure that he has the right experience. Uh, he's the co-founder and CEO of, it looks like an e-learning company here. Uh, so I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna add him to this list, okay? Uh, you can also tag them with certain tags. Like if you wanna create a, a certain tag for a customer or follow up or uh, prospecting or opportunities, you can tag them here. I usually create lists if I'm starting from scratch, right? So I haven't contacted any of these people yet. So I might create a list of all these people uh, in these e-learning lists. I'll go down this. I might have my assistant do this and create a list. And from there, what you're gonna have is, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, you can do that. You can select all and, and save them pretty quickly to the list all, all at once, right? Now, from there, I'm gonna have a list of these e-learning professionals and I can go here and let me just go here one by one. I can click, uh, what was I trying to do here? I'm gonna make sure that he's e-learning. He actually isn't. So I might not reach out to Sean. Uh, I might reach out, let me find someone. See, this is what I mean. It's not always perfect. There's a lot of media companies in here for some reason. Um, see, this isn't, this is over the shoulder. I'm doing this live. I'm not, there was no preparation. So, uh, forgive me here. I'm just going to show you my process, right? So I'm, I'm going to build a list of these people and then I'm going to go to their profile and then I can click these little three dots here. I can click connect and I might send them a personalized connection. Hey, Jay, uh, share some to reach out as well. And I look Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I might do a little better than this. This is just off the top of my head, but I'm trying to make it personalized uh, to Jay here. And I'm trying to make it not robotic. It's not a, you know a straight up sales pitch either. Of course, eventually we're gonna ask for a phone call. Uh, but I'm saying something very simple here, right? Hey Jay, so always sh shared some mutual, mutual connections and want to reach out. Hope all is well at Actively Learn. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Cheers, Sean, okay? So 
Uh, you can do anywhere, you know, 10, 20, 30 of these on a daily basis. You can connect with people in your target market. You can strike up conversations with them. Uh, and when you are connecting with people on a daily basis, people that are in your target market, uh, they get added to your connection base. And the reason why that's so awesome is if I go to my profile here, uh, you can see 596 people viewed my profile. And these are 596 people who are in my target market, who are my ideal customers, right? So if you can imagine, I'm connecting with you know 20, 30 of these CEOs, founders, owners of these e-learning companies every single day, I'm connecting with them. They're getting added to my network. They're viewing my profile. They're reading my headline. They're reading, maybe clicking to my website, reading my profile summary. Uh, there's a percentage of people that are booking calls with me who are asking for calls through my messaging inbox and who are also, they're gonna be, I'm gonna be posting content a lot more. They're gonna be reading my content, right? So any posts that I make on my profile, uh, social selling posts, they're designed to warm them up to me and my brand and what I can do and get them interested in having a conversation with me about how I can help them scale their sales with email, okay? So uh, that is, that. I'm gonna create more videos around this on LinkedIn. It's a, it seems to be a hot topic. I don't see enough people using LinkedIn to its maximum potential. And uh, I wanna create more videos around that and fill the gap, okay? So uh, LinkedIn, if you didn't know, growthresponse.io, which is my company, we started back in 2017 as a LinkedIn lead generation agency. So we've been doing this for years now. We've been using LinkedIn to generate leads and new business for not only us, but for many of our clients, mainly in the technology space. And just recently, as of March 2020, we've started pivoting and going towards this more email marketing heavy service. Uh, but I still think LinkedIn is a fantastic place. If you are if you have a like high ticket service or a product and you're looking for the best social media channel to go out and generate leads and get new clients and grow your business, LinkedIn, especially B2B, especially B2B is very powerful to help you doing that, okay? Uh, so that is it for this over the shoulder tutorial, I just showed you how to optimize your profile here. I showed you what I'm doing. I'm generating people uh, or I'm getting people who are interested in my email marketing service by connecting with them and sending them uh, outbound prospecting messages and they're, they're showing up in my inbox here. Then I also showed you how we go out and build lists of our ideal prospects within Sales Navigator and how you can do the same for your own business. I showed you how to do it just based on job titles and geography and uh, just uh, industry, but you can also use LinkedIn groups to generate these prospect lists as well, more targeted niche specific prospect lists. Um, so I don't know why this isn't working. Uh, so what we did here again is we targeted e-learning specific groups and information marketing groups, and we built a list based off of that, uh, based off of people in the US, okay? Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. And uh, I hope you guys got value out of this. I hope you are learning some things on how you can apply this to your own business. Uh, we've closed a multiple six figures in deals for our own agency using LinkedIn and well over like mid seven figures with our clients in their businesses using our LinkedIn strategies as well. So this stuff works. It still works if you do it right. I hope this helps you out. And if you want to, if there's any other topics you want to see around LinkedIn, make sure you comment below, let me know what that is. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.